everybody. Welcome back to my third belly dance tutorial. First, let me tell you how happy I am to show you this short video and to introduce you to belly dance. Belly dance is a beautiful dance form and it's literally for everybody. If you want to learn it, then you jump in and you try some movements and you enjoy the movements and you start learning. That's how magic it is. It's really literally for everybody. It's just a matter of would you like to learn it or would you not? <laughs> um, so when you figure out that, then it's just a, a wonderful journey into your feminine energetic power in your personal empowerment and definitely is your you start your journey into uh, onto the path of joy <laughs> that's what belly dance is for me that's what belly dance is giving back to me every time i practice for myself or i take classes from other teachers which is very important or maybe I create these small classes for you and my other uh, online offering. You can find more classes um, online, on demand, on my Patreon platform. You will find the link below uh, in the description or here. <laughs> so that said, <laughs> please let's start our practice as usual. Mm, wear something nice that makes you feel gorgeous and um, create some space around. We're not gonna move that much today. The, the, the movements are pretty much um, on the same place, but still, for safety, no stop around just in case. Let's start. As anticipated today, I do not have too, um, too much movement around the room where mostly stay in the same place. Also, our feet are not moving that much, but still, uh, we're gonna do a lot of work with our hips and our chest and shoulders, okay? Today movements involves eight shape in uh, vertical in both direction, then eight shape forward, horizontal, and then we're gonna have chest lift or chest drop, shoulder shimmy soft and the shoulders roll, okay? And then we're gonna have one of my favorite movement which is hip drops, drop, drop, and then H shape with one hip. So there are a lot of H shapes in this tutorial. Let's start by breaking and down each movement and then we're going to build the sequence together and we're going to practice it twice. One without music, slow, and then a little bit faster with the music. <laughs> Let's start by breaking down the very first movement and I start with this one because it's the most complex uh, movement in the sequence. Okay, so it's better to exercise a little bit longer on this one. This one, we, we actually start the, uh, the sequence with this movement. We're gonna use the rhythm Masmudi, and it's an interesting rhythm, so it has a very marked doom and a little bit softer tack. <laughs> and so, this specific sequence will mark the doom. The movement will be specifically on the doom, okay? Uh, as you know, I'm not teaching specifically rhythm in this tutorial, which I'm going to teach in my intermediate course online. And I usually go deep into the rhythms um, during that program. Here, it's enough for you to know it's a masmudi. <laughs> Um, rhythm you can look online for the precise sound and of course I will play it for you so the first movement if we imagine this is the, the our audience is in the front I like to start tilting 
my body slightly to my left. Notice that it's not completely rotated. I still show the front of my chest or the three quarter of my chest to the audience. So they have to see my figure. I can place my hands, left hand behind my head. The right hand is here. Or I can have both hands here. It's really how you feel more comfortable, okay? Here, the, the first movement is in four counts, okay? The first one is forward, drop, back, drop, is one, two, and then the eight shape with one hip, and it's gonna be back, up, center, down, up, forward, center, down, okay? So it's gonna be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, okay? It counts, it really stays on the four beats count. And these, uh, doom, doom, it's really marked. So use your abdominal muscles, use your obliquous muscles here, and you can use a little bit of your glute. No, do not stress them too much. Here is one, two, three, and four. 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 We're gonna do actually only one time on each side for four times. So after the four, you have done one, two, three, and four. Pivot your, your body to your right side, switch the leg, the arms, sorry, switch the arm and one, two, three, and four. 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 Have you noticed how I pivot my body from one side to the other? And I take basically my hip um, energy to shift the weight from one leg to the other. Let me show you with the full figure what happens, especially to the feet, so you can see better. We start from here, left foot, left leg works as an anchor. The right works is free, so you can move your hip. So it's gonna be one, two, three, and four. 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 See my feet just pivot side to side, and I'm using the, the ball of the feet to shift the anchor from right ankle to left anchor. The anchor is the foot that is right on the floor. That said, let's do one more time slowly and just a little bit faster um, this sequence without music. So from here, you start from the left side and we do one, two, three and four. 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 Faster would be one, two, three and four. 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 Do not make the movement when you go faster too big. So don't do, you have no time for that. It's small, one, two. And to make it small, you really need, but effective, like visible, you really need to contract 
your abdominal muscles and really work with the legs and glutes and the side the obliqueous muscles as well so from here is one two three and four 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 this is the first movement repeat this session until you have it okay um we repeat four times uh, alternating so one time on the left one time on the right one time on the left one time on the right for four counts then for eight counts we start with uh, the eight shape uh, uh, vertical going up so there are different eight shapes and the vertical basically your center is uh, the your your hip is, is in the center of your hip and greed <laughs> sorry and you bring the hip down you slide it out so toward the outside on your right you go up and you return to the center so you have created one circle on the right side then the movement continues on the diagonal down out to your left up and back diagonal down toward the center so the idea is this one you have to have your knees bent and you don't see my feet because it's no needed to see there is no need to see my feet they are parallel and they are quite close to one another as you can see by, from my legs so from here uh, drop this uh, hip so when you drop the right hip the left goes up so you are here you go down slide out now lift you can lift your heels when I teach beginners I always teach them to keep their heels down but in this case to go a little bit faster um, you can lift your heels so you go down up lift your heels and your right hip goes up back to the center lower your right heel and now you have to continue to the left up so use your heels because we need it for this choreography for this small drill When you don't use your heels, so you keep your feet on the floor, it, it happens this. And you need to use more the obliquous uh, muscles and of course your belly. And you have to slide even more, okay, to give this feeling. So in this drill, we lift the heels up and down it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight on the eight you are still you are up with the left heel because your left heel is up and we do the opposite eight shape okay so from here you go up and out down and in up and out down and in up and out down and in up and down down and in <laughs> okay so to put this part together because it's kind of a composition that comes together we're here so we have done one two three Four with the egg shape we're here and we go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay pay attention to this one I do it one more time left one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay okay 
Let's do the third movement. Okay, the third movement is interesting because it's simple, but it can be challenging because it goes on the doom. Okay, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Okay, is like shimmy with your shoulders, but is sharp. Is one, two, chest up, three, four. Okay, is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it happens quite fast. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Note that I'm doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the first one is up and down. The second one is up and down, up and down. Okay, the chest movement. Let's put the third movement together. Complete, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from here we have the fourth movement and we're here, we start camel movement or ondulation actually. Let's call it ondulation, it's better. The ondulation is interesting because it really depends on your spine alignment and spine flexibility. So every time you see a dancer do the ondulation, it will appear different from one dancer to the other okay so I do it in a way that is uh, good for my spine and coherent with my spine that's very important okay otherwise I would hurt myself if I try to do something that my spine cannot handle so be very intuitive and sensitive to what your spine can do maybe you can be even more extensive than me, um, that's totally fine. If you cannot even uh, be that extensive, then you can be less extensive, and that's wonderful. What I do when I do the ondulation, I really use my abdominal muscles, first to keep my spine in place, and also to make the ondulation more visible, because of my spine, I cannot do the ondulation too extensive. Okay, that's very important. Otherwise, I hurt myself and I don't want to do that. Okay, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. So be mindful. The ondulation, so we are here because we have finished to do this one. So what we do is collect, I like to imagine I come, I'm collecting the energy, push the chest out, navel is in, chest back, Navel is still in, but the hips is moving forward. And then when the chest is back enough, so don't go too bad, I bring the navel in and I release. So from the side it is. to breathe so from here let's do it one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and 
after the eight, what we do is the eight shape forward horizontal. Okay, the eight shape, like the one vertical, moves on the horizontal plane. So we go with our hips, the, from the center of our hip grid, we move on the diagonal back, circulate forward, back through the diagonal forward, through the center, diagonal back to the left, circulate forward, back to the center, through the diagonal, the, um, the frontal diagonal, and then proceed to continue on the diagonal back. And even in this case, you can use your heels, lifting your heels to make the movement slightly more fluid. Even in this case, when I teach this, I teach this movement with the feet uh, completely on the floor, including the heels, because it really helps the muscles to memorize the movement and it becomes more natural actually when you do it with your heels moving up and down. It becomes more marked and more intense, okay? It's very important to build our muscles' intelligence. Um, let's put the ondulation and the H shape together, okay? We have finished our uh, chest drop. Now we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we start again with the entire sequence. Let's put the sequence together. Slow, no music. Okay, sequence together. Okay, we start from here or from here. Okay, I do the simple version right now, here, without using my arms too much. And let's start. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay. Notice that I don't drop here. The eight is this. Good. If you needed to repeat this session, return to the beginning. Uh, return to the beginning of this session that you in, that interests you. Repeat it until it's comfortable with you. Let's try with the music, and I will do one word version where I count, and then one version where I do not count. So there is no voice, voice only the music. Ready? <laughs> one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 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 three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One.